total cholesterol and heart health what you need to know are you one of the millions of people worldwide who are concerned about their cholesterol levels did you know that high cholesterol is a growing health problem affecting over 1 billion adults the good news is that by understanding the role of cholesterol in heart health you can take steps to manage your cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart disease heart attack and stroke so let's dive into the world of cholesterol and learn how to keep your heart healthy stay up to date with the latest health information by subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell your health will thank you high cholesterol is a common health issue that can affect people of all ages and backgrounds according to the world health organization high cholesterol is a major risk factor for heart disease and stroke which are leading causes of death globally in fact, studies have shown that there is a direct relationship between high cholesterol levels and the incidence of heart disease and other cardiovascular conditions. While genetics and family history can play a role in high cholesterol, lifestyle factors such as poor diet, lack of exercise, and smoking can also contribute to its development. High levels of total cholesterol in the blood can lead to the formation of plaque in the arteries, which can restrict blood flow to vital organs such as the heart and brain. Over time, this can lead to serious health complications such as heart attack, stroke, and peripheral artery disease. It is important to note that not all cholesterol is bad. High-density lipoprotein HDL, cholesterol, often called good cholesterol, can actually help protect against heart disease. However, it is still important to maintain healthy levels of both total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, which is often referred to as bad cholesterol. A lipid profile test is an important tool used by healthcare providers to measure the levels of different types of cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood. The test measures total cholesterol levels, LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and triglycerides. Normal total cholesterol levels are below 200 mg per deciliter, but the optimal levels may vary depending on individual factors such as age and overall health. It's worth noting that the optimal range for total cholesterol levels can vary depending on an individual's risk factors for heart disease. For example, if someone has a family history of heart disease or has other risk factors such as smoking or high blood pressure, their healthcare provider may recommend a lower target total cholesterol level. In general, normal total cholesterol levels for men and women are similar, but women may have slightly higher levels after menopause. It's important to work with your healthcare provider to determine your optimal total cholesterol level based on your individual health profile. High total cholesterol levels are a major risk factor for the development of various diseases that can have a significant impact on a person's health. Atherosclerosis, for example, is a condition in which cholesterol and other fatty substances build up in the walls of the arteries, causing them to become narrow and stiff. This can make it difficult for blood to flow through the arteries, which can lead to a range of complications. Coronary artery disease is another serious condition that can result from high total cholesterol levels. This occurs when cholesterol and other substances build up in the coronary arteries, which supply blood to the heart. This can cause the arteries to become narrow or blocked, which can lead to chest pain, shortness of breath, and even heart attack. Peripheral artery disease is another potential complication of high total cholesterol levels. This condition occurs when plaque builds up in the arteries that supply blood to the arms and legs. This can cause pain, numbness, and weakness in the affected areas, and in severe cases, it can even lead to tissue damage and amputation. Other potential complications of high total cholesterol levels include hypertension, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. These conditions can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke, and they can also lead to a range of other health problems. That's why it's so important to keep your total cholesterol levels in check and to work with your healthcare provider to manage any underlying health conditions that may be contributing to high cholesterol levels. In addition to medical conditions, several lifestyle factors can increase total cholesterol levels. Unhealthy eating habits, such as a diet high in saturated and trans fats, excess calories, and added sugars, can increase cholesterol levels. Foods such as red meat, full-fat dairy products, and processed foods are high in saturated and trans fats, which can raise cholesterol levels. Smoking and physical inactivity are also factors that can contribute to high cholesterol levels. 
Smoking damages the walls of blood vessels, making it easier for cholesterol to build up in the arteries. Physical inactivity can lead to weight gain, which in turn can increase cholesterol levels. It's important to note that genetics can also play a role in high cholesterol levels. Some people may have a genetic predisposition to high cholesterol levels, which can make it more difficult to control cholesterol through lifestyle changes alone. However, even in these cases, lifestyle changes can still have a positive impact on overall health. Lowering total cholesterol levels can be achieved through a combination of lifestyle changes and medication. Adopting a heart-healthy diet that is low in saturated and trans fats, high in fiber, and includes healthy fats such as those found in fish, nuts, and avocados can help lower total cholesterol levels. In a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, Participants who consumed a high-fiber diet for three weeks experienced an average reduction of 5.9% in total cholesterol levels, compared to a low-fiber diet. A meta-analysis of 18 randomized controlled trials found that consuming omega-3 fatty acids, either through supplements or through consumption of oily fish, was associated with a significant reduction in total cholesterol levels. The amount of reduction varied depending on the dose and duration of omega-3 intake, but overall, the studies showed an average reduction of 3.3% in total cholesterol levels. Incorporating whole grains, fruits, and vegetables into your diet can also be beneficial. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that consumption of whole grain oats can lower total cholesterol levels by up to 5%. Limiting your intake of processed and fast foods, as well as added sugars, can also help to lower total cholesterol levels. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, found that consuming a diet rich in plant stanols and sterols can reduce total cholesterol levels by up to 10%. A meta-analysis of 14 randomized controlled trials published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that soy protein consumption can lead to a modest reduction in total cholesterol levels. Regular exercise is another important component of cholesterol control. Exercise can help to improve your overall cardiovascular health, increase your HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol, and lower your LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Maintaining a healthy weight can also help to lower total cholesterol levels. If you are overweight, losing even a small amount of weight can make a big difference in your cholesterol levels. Quitting smoking is another key lifestyle change that can help to lower total cholesterol levels. Smoking can cause damage to your blood vessels and increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. In some cases, medications such as statins, atorvastatin, or rosuvastatin may be necessary to lower total cholesterol levels. In a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, Statin therapy was found to reduce total cholesterol levels by an average of 24.4%. A randomized controlled trial published in the Annals of Internal Medicine found that the medication azetamibe can reduce total cholesterol levels by up to 18% when taken in combination with a statin medication. It's important to note that the percentage of cholesterol reduction may vary depending on factors such as the individual's baseline cholesterol levels and the duration of the intervention. In conclusion, managing total cholesterol levels is crucial for maintaining a healthy heart and reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. By adopting a heart-healthy diet and lifestyle, as well as seeking medical treatment when necessary, you can help reduce your total cholesterol levels and decrease your risk of heart attack, stroke, and other cardiovascular events. Thanks for watching.